Have you noticed that the weirdest creatures on the planet usually live deep underwater? Many of them are huge and scary. The tendency of deep sea dwelling animals to be larger than their shallower water relatives is called deep sea gigantism. Scientists suggest the reasons for that are lack of food, low water temperature and high hydrostatic pressure. Want to learn more about these weird fish? Today we will talk about the top 10 most unusual and weird fish caught in ocean. Before we begin make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notification every day for more amazing content. Flashy painted fish looks like avatar. A vibrantly colored fish that looks too flashy to be real have gone viral on Japanese social media. A group of friends very intriguing picture of their latest catch, a flashy fish that almost looked painted. People started asking if it was real or just a case of too much photoshop, but it wasn't before Azusa catching the fish that the photos went viral. The footage shows the alien looking fish in all its splendor, leaving many viewers with their mouths wide open at the thought that such a creature actually exists. The painted looking fish is apparently known as backquote kinabella in Japan, and backquote surge ras in the western world. It lives in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, where it inhabits reefs and rocky coastlines. Despite its toxic looking color, the surge ras is edible, although it is of minor importance to commercial fisheries, and more valuable as an aquarium fish. People just can't get over how alien it looks, with many claiming that it belongs in James Cameron's avatar. Freaky Big Fish in Japan Two friends were stunned to find an elusive deep sea fish wash up on a beach during their evening jog. The 1.5 meter freaky looking houndfish known for eating its own kind, and typically found 1000 meters underwater, was found on the Shura beach in Japan. Local fishermen who had never seen the elusive specimen suggested may have washed up as a result of irregular weather patterns. Fishing around a remote tropical island in Japan, and finding lots of awesome fish, including packs of freaky looking houndfish which also have very large blue teeth, and will attack anything in its way. He took the specimen to a local fishery, where it was formally identified, and was told it is extremely rare to find them in the shallows. These fishes use their iridescent coloration to sneak up on prey before pouncing and using their fang-like teeth to engulf them. Cyclops Bull Shark It looks like a creature from the ancient myths. So when a shark pup with albino skin and a single eye was found by fishermen in Mexico, and photographs were beamed across the world, many dismissed the strange creature as a hoax. But after examination by a Mexican biologist, the shark was declared genuine. It was removed from the womb of its mother, an endangered dusky shark, which was caught in the Gulf of California. Mexican biologist Felipe Galvin Magana diagnosed the fish with cyclopia, a rare defect that causes the development of only one eye. It has also drawn comparisons with the famous celluloid monster, Green, Grinning Mike from Monsters Incorporated. The shark's condition is known as cyclopia, and is a rare congenital disorder characterized by the failure of the front portion of the brain to properly divide the orbits of the eye into two cavities. Cyclopia occurs within the spectrum of brain and face defects known as alloprosencephaly, which in severe cases can result in miscarriage or stillbirth. Mutant to headed sharks. Two headed sharks sound like a monster ripped straight out of a B list horror movie, but scientists are increasingly finding more of them worldwide. Some have suggested that the surge in mutants is due to genetic abnormalities triggered by overfishing. The puzzling trend started in 2008 when fisherman Christian Johnson caught a two headed blue shark embryo off the coast of Australia. In 2013, a group of Floridian fishermen strained a haul in a large bull shark, but upon gutting it found that its uterus housed a two-headed fetus. More recently, Spanish researchers have now found a two-headed Atlantic sawtail catcher embryo while rearing hundreds of sharks for human health research. It is the first discovered example of a two-headed shark born by a roviparous shark species, a shark that lays eggs. It is likely that these embryos don't live for long after hatching, which could explain why two-headed egg-laying sharks have never been found before. Wild sharks' rising mutation rates could come from a variety of factors, including viral infections or pollution. The Alien of Ariac Sea 
the mud flats of Japan's Eriaxi are home to a creature that is reportedly as delicious as it is disgusting looking. Introducing the Werasubo, an eel-like fish that for obvious reasons is known as the alien of Eriaxi. If you're familiar with HR, Giga Xenomorph, more specifically its iconic inner mouth, one look at the Werasubo fish is enough to explain its comparison to the fictional alien. It literally looks like the piston-like appendage that Giga's ferocious predator uses to pierce its victims' bodies and even metal. The Werasubo is a terrifying looking thing, especially in dried form, which only makes its use as an ingredient for ramen and other Japanese foods that much stranger. It's apparently a very flavorsome treat that gets tastier the more you chew on it. Eriaxi have actually employed the alien-like creature to boost tourism in the area, even creating a short promotional film that depicts the scary looking eel as a mysterious creature. Lorito fly fishing. There's that fresh always beauty. Saltwater fly fishing can take you to some beautiful places. With its beaches, framed by bluffs and cliffs, Mexico's Badger region is one of these places. Unmistakable because of their expansive combed dorsal fin, and found only in the tropical waters of the eastern Pacific Ocean, roosterfish are a one-of-a-kind gamma fish. The best time to head to Lorito Badger, California for fishing depends on what type of fish you're on the lookout for. While the biggest fish in Lorito, Mexico are caught during the summer and fall, there's always fish swimming beneath the surface of the water waiting to be caught. I think that's a pretty good deal. I think that's why I got Three, now, four. In, you know. The huge Pacific wolf eel. The wolf eel, Anarichthys acelatus, is a species of wild fish from the North Pacific. The wolf eel is not related to other eels. It's one of five species in the wolf fish family. The other four species are not nearly so long and skinny. Wolf eels look more or less normal sized down to their necks, and then their bodies just keep going, with thick, muscular waves of tail stretching nearly 8 feet, 2.4 meters, behind them. Adults wind those long bodies into caves and crevices, sticking just their heads out and waiting for something crunchy to swim by. They love crabs, urchins and shellfish. Though giant and slightly scary looking, you'll see that he's really just about food and family. Wolf eels are thought to mate for life and they can live together in the same den for up to 7 years. He looks fearsome, but has a reputation among divers as being quite curious. Don't get too close though, a bite from him would still do some damage. Big Nose Sturgeon Nick McCabe says pig nose is a special fish, which is hardly a surprise, considering they are practically old pals at this point. The fishing tour guide caught the 700 pound 10 foot long sturgeon near Lillooet for the second year in a row. Nick McCabe is the talk of the town in Lillooet, British Columbia, after he caught a decades old sturgeon known as Pig Nose. McCabe and Grim Olfson are guides, a Lillooet based fishing company that offers sturgeon fishing tours and trips. They guess is the fish weighs 650 pounds and measured him at 10 feet and 2 inches long with a 5 and a half foot girth. This fish has been the talk of fishing and sporting goods shops for years. Grim Olsen said they are sure it's the legendary sturgeon as the fish was tagged in the past and microchipped. Luckily for Pignos, all of River Monster Adventure sturgeon fishing trips are catch and release. Snakehead Fish The snakeheads are members of the freshwater Persiform fish family Chanidae, native to parts of Africa and Asia. These elongated, predatory fish are distinguished by their long dorsal fins, large mouths, and shiny teeth. They breathe air with gills, which allows them to migrate short distances over land. They are valuable as a food source, and have become notorious as an intentionally released invasive species. There has been no end to the creepy descriptions of the snakehead fish, a slimy, toothy, large-jawed animal that can breathe on land and crawl like a snake, in the decades that it has popped up in freshwater lakes, ponds, rivers in the United States. End it immediately and freeze it. They can survive on land whilst other snakeheads reach between 30 and 90 centimeters. Snakeheads are thrust feeders that consume plankton, aquatic insects, and mollusks when small. As adults, they mostly feed on other fish, such as carp, or on frogs. Bizarre fish in ocean. 
These fish are out of the deep sea and into your nightmares, all thanks to the social media accounts of a Russian deep sea fisherman. Roman Fedortsov is a fisherman based in Murmansk, Russia, who primarily seeks normal looking fish like cod and haddock. But sometimes he catches non-target, rarely seen species. Currently, Fedortsov is in the Norwegian Sea, where he sets out deep sea trawlers. Occasionally he catches non-target species, takes pictures of them, sometimes at odd angles, and posts the pictures on social media. This one shows a fish with a parasitic isopod in its mouth which is a creature that eats the tongue of its host and then lives in its mouth. Fedortsov can make weird looking fish look even weirder with some clever perspectives. Thanks for watching, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video also don't forget to subscribe to always be in the top 10 videos world.